Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Miss Dielshevsky? She here? No one by that name is employed here, no. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, back off, V. They make me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it. Given I almost got a brain hemorrhage seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on, you stuck with me. Not about to go away. I'd be lying if I said the thought of you gone never crossed my mind. To a happy return, then. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Life is simpler somehow, wasn't it? Yeah, good times. Things changed, no denying it. Jackie's gone. So has Misty's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right, come on. Hop in the chair. So, Misty, what happened? She, uh, moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. So, no drinking after all. Relax. We'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? What can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case, age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow. Less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations. You match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. What the hell happened, Vic? So many years resisting. To let them buy you out now? Why? They piled the pressure on V. 
I mean, anonymous threats of arson included, over and over. I ran out of options. I had to do what was best for the clinic. Always got a choice, Vic. Always. Uh, if that's the case, I'd like to believe I chose well. Tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Former clients never liked Corpo, as far as I remember. They still come around? I've lost touch with most. Unfortunately, it's like we started speaking different languages. Right. I see. Must say, I hoped you'd say something else. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Hey, Vic. Why'd you choose to become a Ripper? Call it my youthful rebellion. All my friends at the time were gunning to be somebody. I helped them, fixed them, their bodies, minds. Though, actually, just postponed their moment of their irreparable destruction. Yeah. Corpos burn out fast. Fast as hell. Well, I don't get attached to them at least. Even you've grown cynical. Just being honest with myself. We all have to let go sometime. No other way. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Hmm. Can't say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life threatening. You said kind. you can do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Check again. V. You'll think of something, Vic. I know you will, please. I did all I could. Don't have anywhere else to go. I'm sorry, V. So. It's over. Done. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. I get it, Vic. I believe you. Stay calm, level. I think I even envy you. But that's just not me. Something was taken from me, and I can't accept it. Attitude like that can only bring pain. Might be how it has to be. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> You got it wrong, man. Friend of yours. Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. 
You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Drop it. Let me alone. Hmm. Uh, nope. Show me the money. Now take my fist, cocksucker! Fuck! That's enough! Got what we wanted. Let him be. See? But you... What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. That jacket you're wearing. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out, and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah, not a lot of luck in my life. Jeez, you're welcome. <laughs> so damn nice. I actually feel better already. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass too, as all things. Probably got it right. Just darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. <sighs> Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you'd, well, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? 
Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. So... You're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Take your cue from your cards? Nah, it wasn't the cards. Close, though. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. Nothing lasts forever. Gonna recover your peace of mind, Misty. Probably. Then I'll lose it again, recover it. But most likely, it'll always be different. A piece built on something new. Could use a smoke, too. Here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <sighs> Doesn't matter. My life's like I was a minute ago. <sighs> Flat on its ass. Like it was when you came back from Atlanta? Like after Compeki? Like it probably will be again? You might see this as odd or extraordinary. But life's about changes. Unwelcome ones, too. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Made the best choice of all of us. Leaving NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? So many places I've yet to see. Maybe leaving is the best option. I'd actually find the new me. Somewhere out there. If you land in a certain ancient forest in Poland, I'll help you look. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it. Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so.
So, till we meet again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. You still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore.